Welcome back to a second in a series of tutorials that involve animating a chicken. In the previous tutorial we, we developed a method to allow the chicken to walk around. In this tutorial I'm going to add a couple of additional methods. So the first one I'm going to look at is one to get the chicken to peck at the ground. So I just call it peck. And then we go into the chicken, we're going to move the chicken's neck up and down. So we're going to need to do together. And clever chicken, uh, chicken's neck. We'll begin by turning the neck forward by point two of revolution. And we're also going to turn its head forward by point one of revolution. Point one. Okay. Having done that, we're then going to include a loop. We're going to loop ten times, and within that loop, we're going to get the chicken's neck to turn back and forward a small amount. So we'll get it neck to turn forward, and we're going to point oh five, and turning backward. Also, 0 0.05. Do that 10 times. And let's just change some of the timings here. So I'll make that duration 0.1 of a second. And that will also be 0.1 seconds. These ones up here will make half a second each. 0 0.5 and 0.5. Okay, and then finally, we want to return the neck to the original position. So we need to do the reverse of these two operations here. And we need to indeed reverse the order. And changing both of those to backward. So if we go into here, and then call that particular method. And we'll do that before we do the walk. And then let's play it. And there you can see we have a reasonable approximation of a pecking, pecking animation. Let's just go through this quickly. Now we actually need to change this one so it's going backwards. And then this one should be forward. So let's rerun that. And there we have it. Much better look. Ah! Let's just fix this up at the end. Got those around the wrong way. Take that forward, that one backward. Replay it once more. And there we have it. Back into the starting position. Excellent. So now we've got a method for chicken to walk, another method for it to peck, and another method we want to develop is a method to get the chicken to turn around a random amount. So we're going to create a variable to represent the amount of rotation. Click on OK. Put this set, set the value to an initial default value, go back up to our world, go into functions, and we're going to have a random number, and we're going to set that between 0.5, or in fact, minus 0.5, uh, minus point, let's clear that, minus 0.5, and a maximum of 0.5. In this case, it doesn't have to be an integer, so I'll leave that as it is. And then we'll do a do together. So we'll rotate the chicken, the entire chicken. Go to methods. Turn the chicken left. Put in default value and then change that to the rotation. 
and at the same time we're doing that we're going to get the chicken to walk a short distance of half a meter in one second so let's now test that particular method out so we'll go to my first method and we'll add that between the peck and the turnaround and the walk so let's play that see the pecking occurs moves around. Now we've got a slight problem here. Let's go back over to here. It doesn't, didn't seem to actually move whilst it was turning around. So let's just replay that. So you can see it pecking. And we see it's not actually moving in that time. Let's change that to one meter. Let's see if that makes a difference. Okay, that seems to be better. Now, finally, we'll s create one more method called random move. So this particular method will randomly select one of the three previous methods that we implemented. So to do that, we're going to use an if statement. And we're going to go up to the world functions. We're going to use this particular function here. So 40% of the time we're going to get the chicken to walk. Go to our methods and we'll get it to walk two meters in one second. Then we want to choose between the other two. So we'll say 60% of the remaining instances we'll get the chicken to peck at the ground so back to our chicken and the rest of the time we'll get a turn around in fact we might change that to 70 percent of the time so back over to here we can now delete all of these oops delete that Let's put in our random move and let's put that inside a loop. And we'll get to do 10 times and then we play. This it starts off pecking. Okay, so that's working. Now what we can do is we can finish off that by removing this. So remove this main event here. And we'll, we'll actually change that to the while the world is running. And during that, that time, we'll call the chicken random move. So that just should continually move the chicken around the screen, performing the different animations.